Hi, good morning. I am so stoked to see you. It has been far too long since we have gotten to meet for some coffee. I have been very busy moving and I know that you have also been very busy, but I thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your crazy insane schedule and all of the things in life to come have a little bit of coffee with me and hang out and do whatever. This is terrifying. I really hate this new camera setup because like the lighting is good, which is bad for me. Welcome to my very tiny bed. We are not, well, you can be in your pajamas if you want. I am not in my pajamas today because I figured that since it's been so long, I should try and put on some makeup for you. Yes, I moved. Um, I have not been around the last couple of weeks because I've been very busy moving. Uh, anyway, now for my first video back, I thought that I would just like come on here and have a little chitty chat with you all. However, my shipment from Oakland Coffee arrived. So I ripped apart the box and sprinted to my kettle because I am very excited. Friends, let's do this. Let's take a look at Oakland Coffee Works. Before we dive into our little investigation for today, I just wanted to point out that the subscribe button is that way. If you would like to hang out with me three to five times a week normally, except, you know, the last couple of weeks. Also, if you go down below into the description, there's a link to my blog, which I post on twice a week. I discuss a variety of topics under an environmentally sustainable, health conscious, budget friendly lens. Took me a second to remember exactly what it is that I do. Like this video if you uh, like my background. Anyway, so a wonderful beautiful, gorgeous person in the comments section recommended that I try Oakland coffee. And I am always looking for a new excuse to spend all my money on coffee. So I immediately went to go research them and see what was up. And as I was researching, guys, my jaw literally went from this to this. So Oakland Coffee Works is the coffee company of Green Day. Green Day, the band, made a coffee company, and that is a crossover that I was not expecting, but I'm absolutely here for it. Coolest collab ever. Before I nerd out about that, let's talk about the company. So as we are always trying to make sure that we are living in harmony with the planet and everything that lives on it, let's do a sustainability check. Apparently, according to their website and some written interviews that I have seen, um, one of the major concerns of Green Day's coffee company was that they wanted to make sure that they were doing everything in a sustainable way. They were dumbfounded at the massive amount of waste produced by the coffee industry and wanted to make sure that they made some steps to revolutionize the industry. So coffee packaging, their bags, their single use pods are all certified compostable. Now I was literally blown away when I first read this. However, there is a little bit of a catch that um, you cannot put this in your home composter. You have to put it through industrial composting, which is not necessarily available to everybody. So the next step, guys, the next step is make it good for my home composter as well. So because my town doesn't do that. But still, Big kudos to them. I think that's absolutely spectacular. I wish that every major coffee company would do the same thing. Let's get on the train. A note about composting things in general. If you buy something that says it's compostable, you know, even like, you know, food, you still have to actually compost it. You cannot just throw it into your regular trash can because things don't compost in landfills. They are so filled with plastics and hard materials that don't break down. So anything that you throw on top of that does not compost. I'm gonna go find a video on composting and link it down below so you can get the scoop. I opted not to get the um, single use pods, which that is a cheaper option. I don't know if it has the same equivalent amount of coffee cups as the bags do, but that is $9.50 and this was $14.99. Your girl went for the whole bean bags 
because she's fancy. Anyway, let's continue. Is their sourcing sustainable? They are fair trade. They get all of their beans from small farms in villages and communities in Central and South America. They are committed to organic farming. They only use natural pest elimination methods in order to keep water sources clean and protect the local populations and the local wildlife. They make a point of integrating several different kinds of crops and plants into their farms in order to support and encourage the biodiversity of the land rather than, you know, eliminating everything and just making it a crop field. This way, the local wildlife is protected, the local pollinators are protected, and the organic farming methods are particularly beneficial for the farmers themselves, as it is much healthier than using your run of the mill pesticides. Speaking of protecting workers, let's move to the humanity side of things. Not only are their business practices and packaging sustainable, but they also are doing some A plus work to give back to the communities that they source from. They are certified fair trade and at the moment, it says on their website that this is a temporary thing, um, but at the moment they are donating 100% of all of their profits to local food banks in order to support the communities. So did I drop $30 on two bags of coffee? Yes. Do I feel really good about it? Absolutely, because I know that the dollars that I had are going to help feed somebody else. As always, I like to know exactly where my money is going because I don't have that much of it, so I would like to make sure that when I do splurge, it is going to a good cause. So, okay, so now that I have blabbered on for 20 minutes on camera about their business practices and sustainability, let us go into whether or not it tastes good. I have not yet tried this. I haven't tried the other flavor either. Today I am going for Cerro de Oro. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, please let me know. I am mostly familiar with Italian, French, and German. Apparently our Green Day friends say that they have been exploring and searching for the most perfect cup of coffee for two decades. On their website, they have this whole segment where they talk about how the trend in artisanal coffees these days is often, you know, very peppery coffees, which end up being extremely bitter. Um, so their goal was to develop flavors that were complex, soothing, just damn good without that acidic bitter taste that you find in a lot of trendy coffees these days. So the Cerro de Oro is a medium dark roast. It is supposedly a balanced nutty flavor, um, single origin from the Guatemalan highlands. Okay, so my coffee's probably cold by now because again, I've been doing this for uh, 23 minutes now. So let's try it. Oh wow, that is really good. They did it. They did it. This is, it, this does not taste bitter at all. It's so delicious. Like when, it, when you smell it, there's almost like a cinnamony. That is damn good. As I said before on this channel, I am an uneducated coffee snob, so I don't know the exact proper language to use when discussing coffees. Did I just like psych you out? Did you go through this whole video thinking that I was some like coffee expert? Sorry. The scent is very nutty. It's got a little bit of like a spicy quality to it but it definitely has that nuttiness in it and it's not bitter at all. I gotta tell you, when I opened this bag up and smelled it, I just, I wanted to eat the beans. Like, I just wanted to take these beans, cover them in chocolate and eat them. Does anybody else here like chocolate covered espresso beans? Cause I really like chocolate covered espresso beans. Wow, that is a good cup of coffee. In my coffee budget this month, I had the choice to either stock up on my usual coffee brand or get Oakland coffee and I decided to go for Oakland and I have absolutely no regrets. This is delicious. I am excited to try the other flavor. I'll probably do that on camera as well and let you guys know. Friends, I am stunned. I'm stunned. A higher price tag? For sure. But anything can be budget friendly if you make it budget friendly.
as you guys know, um, Wallet is always my mission to make sure that we are being kind to our wallets and living as fabulously as possible at the same time. Uh, coffee is my splurge. If it's good for the planet, it is good for my wallet. Green Day. Thank you. Um, I didn't know that I needed this, but I'm happy that it's in my life. Overall, Oakland Coffee gets like 4.89 stars from me. The only thing, the only suggestion that I as a consumer have is that I want to be able to compost my packaging at home. Um, I'm sure that there are a lot of other people who do as well because there may or may not be industrial composting in your area. So that is the next step as far as sustainability goes. If you liked this video, liked this uh, mediocre review, go ahead and press the like button. It would seriously help me out. I would really appreciate it. Or if you didn't like this video because I'm a fraud and don't know how to properly talk about coffee, uh, you can dislike it, I guess. Okay, so next video, I am going to try and have a better setup. I just wanted to go ahead and get a video up today because it has been a minute. The move went really well. Um, I am writing an article right now. Um, I'll probably also simultaneously do a video to go along with it about making your move a little bit more eco-friendly as well as getting you some money back for it. So if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button and we will chat about that next time. If not, uh, there might be, that's definitely coming out this week. Maybe I'll just like hang out with you guys for a minute because I miss doing that. I haven't just like sat down and talked to you, but Anyway, I'm gonna go and try this with a little bit of creamer while I finish writing that article, so I will let you go. Please let me know how you're doing stay down in the comments. I have missed you and would love to talk to you down there. I'll be responding as long as the video is still new. So go ahead, let's chat, and I will see you um, hopefully tomorrow, if not in a couple of days, okay? Anyway. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. I love you. Bye.